guys, I have some brand new limited edition merch available in three different designs that I helped create. They're available in multiple styles, including hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and more, and you can choose between many colors and, of course, multiple sizes. Check out the link down below before the campaign ends to help support this channel and also get your hands on some awesome shirts. Hello everybody, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. Today's video is going to be another what I eat in a week video. It's been a minute guys, it's been a minute. Now this is kind of a what I eat in a week because I don't think I actually finished filming the week. Oh my bad, okay, I forgot or something. I do think I filmed like five days, so I mean it's good enough. It's pretty much a week and quite often I do repeat like a lot of meals anyways, so this should give you enough information, okay? So don't come after me. If you guys don't know, I've been trying to eat a high protein vegan diet, so I've been trying to hit a minimum of 100 grams of protein a day. Some days I don't actually hit the 100 grams, but that's like the goal, you know what I'm saying? So I've been trying to eat a higher protein diet just to see how my body will change in terms of like my fitness because I I do do some weightlifting and strength training and things like that and I would like to see some like you know bigger muscles you know what I'm saying especially in the booty because I don't got a booty so I want to see if it's gonna make a difference if I actually try to up my protein just a little bit it's not crazy guys okay 100 grams of protein that's what I've been trying to do don't feel like you have to do the same okay this is just my own thing so yeah keep that in mind without further ado let's get on with the video so, unfortunately, I lost one of my memory cards. <laughs> so I lost the footage for the breakfast that I had. Luckily, the rest of the footage was on my other memory card because I'm so smart. Yay! Uh, anyways, okay, so this is the breakfast. I basically had an English muffin, like, burger with a vegan chicken burger patty, some vegan bacon and tomatoes, and then I put some barbecue sauce inside. Yeah, sounds delicious. You can just imagine what it looked like. For lunch, I'm having one of my favorite lunches. This is bibimbap, aka Korean mixed rice. We sell this at my vegan cafe. And this one, I actually doubled the lentils because I wanted to get the extra protein. So we've got some marinated lentils, fresh veggies, and brown rice. And I mix everything with our gochujang sauce. And it is so, so good. It's definitely my favorite thing to eat for lunch, or at least one of my favorite things to eat for lunch. So I decided to make a very, very simple protein smoothie with almond milk ice protein powder and I think I added half a banana in there as well for some added sweetness because I really hate just having protein powder with water I mean I just don't enjoy that okay this I can actually enjoy so this actually tastes really good it's like a vanilla uh, protein milkshake yummy Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really yummy dipping sauce out of peanut butter. So this is PB2, which is powdered peanut butter. This is basically peanut butter with the fat extracted out of it. So it's mainly like protein, but it still gives you that peanut flavor. Yeah, it's great. And then I'm also adding some hoisin sauce and a lemon juice. So this is kind of like a, um, is this Thai or Vietnamese? Am I being racist? I don't know. Where do these things come from? Rice rolls, rice paper rolls. Where do they come from? Is it Vietnamese? Oh my gosh, I think it's Vietnamese. Anyways, either way, I made a higher protein peanut butter dipping sauce for these salad rolls. These are the smoked tofu avocado salad rolls that we sell at Savage Cafe. They are so good. It's basically like salad in a roll. Mm -hmm. And on the side, I'm having one of my favorite little snacks, which are edamame beans. And I just topped it with a little bit of garlic salt. And oh my gosh, guys, I am obsessed with edamame beans. They are the perfect little high protein snack. It's so good. And so yeah, that's my little dinner. Just dipping that and eating that. Yummy! Welcome to day two. We are going to be making a smoothie and let me just tell you guys There's gonna be a lot of smoothies in this video. I am just warning you. Okay. I am just letting you know Beforehand so in here. We've got almond milk orange juice frozen spinach. We're adding some hemp seeds For those healthy fats. We are also adding some chia seeds for more healthy fats and also hemp seeds are pretty high in protein, too Yeah, so good all right, there's there's all that stuff. We're also gonna add some Corella powder. This is kind of like spirulina, like you know the 
superfood family you know what i'm saying it's super green it tastes kind of bad but you know it's high in protein and it's really good for you so we're adding that in there and basically ruining the taste of this entire smoothie so yeah that's great so one thing you could do to make your smoothie taste really good is to add some frozen pineapple. Frozen pineapple is so sweet, so delicious. We're also going to add a little bit of blueberries because high antioxidants. And of course we're going to add protein powder to add all that protein into the smoothie. We're going to blend it up and make it into that green sludge. Mmm, hello green sludge. And after I'm done my green smoothie, I like to actually add water into the cup so I can drink up all of those nutrients. Am I weird? Is that weird? I don't know. Whatever. Either way, doesn't matter. Now I'm having coffee. <laughs> so I'm just having an Americano. I'm not really showing you guys all the coffee I'm drinking because, girl, I drink a lot of coffee. Okay, I'm probably drinking like two, three cups a day. Okay. Now, lunchtime. Oh my gosh. this I can't keep up with this voiceover. <laughs> so this is a bean and veggie stir fry with brown rice. You guys know I love my stir fries. Okay. So this is beans and I think there's some tofu in there. There's some broccoli, peppers, onions, just goodness. And then of course, brown rice. All of this is pretty high in protein. I stir fried everything with Korean barbecue sauce. And yeah, so good. It's delicious. And for a little afternoon snack, I decided to have half of a matcha smoothie from my cafe. Yes, my life is that exciting that I must have half a smoothie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and I'm also going to be uh, eating it, drinking it with a spoon because it makes me feel like I am having ice cream or something. I don't know. It's pretty delicious. So that is my little snack. My very exciting half of a matcha smoothie snack. Okay, now it is time for dinner. I was literally at the cafe all day this day, guys. So I basically am having all the meals at the cafe. So I had this really delicious rice bowl. There's brown rice underneath there. We've got lots of fresh veggies. We've got some delicious firm tofu on the side. And on top, we've got one of Savage Cafe's filet no fish patties with our house-made tartar sauce. This is so delicious. We sell a burger called the filet no fish. And it tastes kind of like a McDonald's filet o fish you know what I'm saying yeah and of course after a long day at the cafe I finally got home and I decided to have a little evening snack a classic PB and J and of course because I live life on the edge I'm just having half an English muffin with some peanut butter and blueberry jam classic so delicious All right, you guys, welcome to day three. We're spending yet another day at Savage Cafe. So here we have some scrambled tofu. This is part of our breakfast menu. It's so yummy. It's basically scrambled tofu with uh, mushrooms, tomato, green onion. And we've got also some smoked tofu in there as well. And I topped mine with some ketchup. And I'm actually having mine with a piece of toast with hummus on top because hummus is life my friends and this guys was so delicious this is definitely one of my favorite breakfasts it's so good Ugh, what a great combination you know we're just adding just wonderful things into one meal and it's great And I decided to make my life super interesting by adding a little bit of steamed coconut milk into my coffee on this day. Yes, I know. So exciting. Next, for lunch, I'm having another kind of stir fry thing. So there's brown rice underneath. We've got some lentils. We've got a mixture of vegetables, including spinach, broccoli, carrots. We also have some tofu. We also have a little side of kimchi. Oh my gosh, such a good little lunch. This is basically like Savage Cafe's tofu veggie rice bowl. Everything is stir fried in Korean barbecue sauce and I added in those extra lentils. And for a tiny little snack, I'm having a tomato smoothie. I know it sounds really weird, but it's tomatoes, ice, a little bit of maple syrup, blend it up and it's so delicious, I promise. And of course, here we have another smoothie. This one is the exact same green smoothie that I had the day before. So I'm just having that as a little afternoon snack. 
For dinner, I actually ended up going out because balance, yay. I'm having some uh, veggie spring rolls. These are super yummy. And then I had this sizzling rice. I don't know what this is actually called. Sizzling rice with tofu and veggies. And oh my gosh, doesn't that look so good? <laughs> Let's make some breakfast. We are working with tofu yet again. I know, what a surprise. We are going to pan fry the tofu and I'm actually adding, I actually, I actually don't know what I'm doing over here, but let's just go with it. So we're adding some scrambled tofu seasoning on top of this tofu. This is just a concoction of different spices that I mixed up to make scrambled tofu. And I'm also going to toast up an English muffin. And along with the scrambled tofu, we are pan frying the uh, tomatoes just slightly as well, just to warm it up a little bit. So I probably should have put the scrambled tofu seasoning on top of the tofu after I pan fried both sides a bit, but you know what, whatever. I don't know if it matters. Anyways, now we are putting a little bit of vegan mayo on our English muffin. I also decided to add in a little bit of Thai sweet chili sauce as well just for some added flavors and deliciousness and then we can start to assemble our delicious breakfast sandwich so tomatoes and then of course our pan fried tofu now doesn't this look kind of sexy it looks pretty good guys and it was it was very good so try this out super simple yet delicious you could also do like a hummus as a spread as well and for lunch, we're having another bibimbap, aka mixed rice from Savage Cafe. This time I added some tofus in there as well. Tofus? Hi, tofus. So it's tofu, lentils, brown rice, veggies, hot sauce, a little bit of seaweed, all that good stuff. And here we go. Another smoothie. Oh my god, I really hope I'm not boring you guys, but you know what? This is what I eat. What can I do? You know? I'm sure y'all don't eat something really exciting all the time, okay? This time we're doing a bit of a different smoothie. This is the sunshine smoothie from our cafe. It's celery, orange juice, uh, kale, kiwi. We're adding protein powder. We're gonna blend that up for a very refreshing and a surprisingly very delicious green smoothie. And now I'm having a little snack called Better Than Breakfast Bar. So it's kind of like a chocolate peanut buttery bar. It's really, really yummy. And I went out for dinner again. I know, I'm terrible, but you know, sometimes you just need to feed your soul. So we're having some vegan fried rice with pineapple, some vegan sweet and sour pork type thing with taro inside instead of pork. I was hoping for a seitan, but you know, whatever. Anyways, this is also a taro type thing, but this is called ginger beef, veganized. Another day, another smoothie. We are adding frozen spinach into a blender. We're also going to add a frozen banana in there as well. We're also going to add in some flax seeds. These are ground flax seeds for some healthy fats. And of course, some protein powder as well. And we're also going to top everything off with some almond milk and water and then blend it up, baby. Blend, blend, blend. And this was filming day, so I ended up having one of the meals that I made for one of my videos. So if you guys want the recipe for that, I'll link that down below. But essentially, the meal is a quinoa and spinach mixture here. And I topped it off with some pan-fried tofu, some pumpkin seeds, and a really yummy, creamy cashew apple cider vinegar dressing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This meal was delicious. So that was my lunch. And I ended up going out for dinner again, uh, but this time it was a staff dinner for our cafe employees. So yeah, couldn't help it. We're having Indian food. Indian food is delicious. If you guys have not tried Indian food, what have you been doing? You know, Indian food is so good. So here we've got rice, some roti instead of naan because their naan was not vegan, but their roti is vegan. And then just a selection of a few different dishes and I will never for the life of me remember the names of Indian dishes. I don't know why, I can just never remember what I, what I ever get. So yeah, at least I know that most of it tastes really good. So all of this was really delicious and that was my dinner. Alright you guys, so that is it for my what I ate in a week 
somewhat of a week video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are interested in more What I Eat in a Week videos, I do have a playlist, which I will link down below so you can check out my previous What I Ate in a Week videos as well. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know that you enjoyed it or maybe you didn't enjoy it. I don't know. Okay, just leave me some comments, okay? And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to check out my merch, y'all. My merch. My merch link is below. Definitely check out the link down below to check out my merch. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!